Okay, welcome to part three of the video. Right now I'm talking about how to get rid of obsidian. If someone griefed your map with lava and water, which of course creates a lot of obsidian, which if you don't have the right kind of pickaxe, you can't get rid of anyway. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to choose what you want to turn the obsidian into. Okay. So, because there's actually no way to officially delete it, you have to turn it into something um, a little bit less destructive. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it into dirt. So, you have to enable painting tiles and enable tile mask. Make sure that the eraser is not on and you have nothing else checked. So, now what I can do is anywhere there is obsidian, it suddenly becomes dirt. Okay, and dirt, of course, is a lot easier to get rid of than obsidian. Okay, if you want to, if you have a, a large area, I made this back to round, but you can leave it square, but just make it a lot bigger, zoom out, and instantly, it's all dirt. And that's all dirt. Okay, so that's how you fix the grief map. Okay, now let's go into a little bit into what you can create. I'm not going to get real in depth. You just kind of have to play around with it. Um, well, actually, before I get into that, I'm going to show you what this menu over here is. Okay, so the next time the map is run, um, you can choose the moon phase. Okay, you can decide whether it's going to be a blood moon or not. Um, you can also decide if certain events have happened. Because as we know, if, uh, if these things have been defeated, certain uh, aspects of the game are unlocked. Uh, you can decide how many orbs have been smashed. Okay, you can spawn a meteor the next time the map is loaded. Okay, um, you can actually customize. Okay, you can customize the surface level and the bedrock level. I haven't ever messed with that, but you are able to change it. And I'm not sure if it'll change it now or if you have to reload it course you can change the time okay beginning of day end of day and this is all the next time uh, that you start the server and I believe if you just check that it'll be daytime all the time okay um, invasion type of course there's only one that's a goblin invasion and you can set the size and I'm not sure about the position. It has something to do with uh, these numbers down here and where left and right happens. Okay, if that makes sense. Okay, but anyway, that's that's pretty much uh, that menu right there. Okay, and if you want to. Uh, add stuff like chests and stuff just make sure that's off and this is all the stuff you can place at, at this time which is most of the items in the game see mushroom grass jungle thorns um, you can add gems okay glass sand vines And that's pretty much it. You guys can have fun just messing with this stuff. And then load your map and see how it looks.